Here we are guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's me Bassman in the kitchen again, doing a little demo today, hand-picked crab meat. So yes, a um, little bit of history. I was the manager of a crab, fit, crab factory for many years, a local hand-picking factory, uh, lots of staff there. And yes, we did tons of these edible brown crab every week, hand-picked, no machines. So yeah, a couple of people asked me um, about this, that and the other regarding crab, because I do crab demos for my fishing. Um, dead men's fingers, you know, the lungs, how do, you, how do you remove those and are they poisonous and everything like that. So I'll try and keep this brief and simple. Uh, so there you've got, um, I've got a lovely big edible brown crab. It's a hen crab, so it's a female. So I'll show you that underneath. So I've taken out the big claws. I had a bit of a munch last night. I got home from fishing and uh, me and the cat had a little bit of a party last night, just a little snack. But yeah, so you can see the underside of the hen crab, that's the she. Um, the eggs, when she's in berry, they'll, they'll, they'll all collect in here. You've probably seen that when they're full of eggs. And there's her reproductive organs there. Yes, so that's the underside of the female crab. So taking out these, I've already taken out the leg sockets. Um, but there's a net to taking these leg sockets out and it's just a matter of grabbing all three together or however, however many legs you've got and just gently kind of pulling them out like that. So the idea is you don't want to leave that little bit in but you can't help it sometimes. So there's the leg joints taken out and there's meat, lovely meat there look so don't discount that. So I'll just put this to the side. And then we've got a couple of legs here, which I've missed, and then just pull out like that. Nice bit of meat there, look. So yeah, so then we've got um, to this stage, and we've got to obviously get into the crab. Now here you'll see there's a natural break line around the crab shell. So that's its natural line. And when it, when it, um, when it changes its shell and grows, obviously that splits and it, so all you have to do here, around this bit here, with, with the palm of your hand, quite strongly, just press in and break it. And you can see, look, the line is right there. So there's your line, all the way to the back. So I've followed the line. So I basically take that shell off there. And you can see that's the brown meat inside there. So the other side, it's just a firm press. You don't have to take the shell off at this point because I'm gonna pull it all out. Uh, so yeah, so I've, I've followed that line around just about, there you go. So that's, that's the natural split on the shell. And then how to, how to remove this bit here to take the body out, so the purse meat. So all you do now is, just here you hold on to the top of the shell and just gently break it out. So there you've got a big body and that's full of meat. There's loads of meat in there and I'm gonna show you how to get that out in a minute. So we'll just put that down there. Oops, upside down. So this is the, uh, this is what we've got inside, the brown meat. And this stuff is, this is like the rich stuff you get in the brown, in the crab. So it's a lot stronger than the white crab meat, uh, but it's not so popular. Um, traditionally, you sort of older folks would have had this on toast, they would spread it on instead of buying some, you know, rubbish fish spread or anything. Right, so, so just to take this out now, it's very easy. All you need is a little spoon. So there you go, that's one wing. So the wing's gone. And this is, this is what you buy as crab cart when it's raw and salted, but this is obviously cooked. And there's a little bit of plastic or like almost like cling film stuff there you take off and all that my friends is edible all right so as i say it's very rich the brown meat and there's coral in there as well so that's the that's the eggs forming on the top of the shell and in a in a couple months time if allowed they would have gone down through underneath the flap as you've seen before so there's a nice brown meat there i just got the other side really simple look so there's my other my other brown meat. It's all good to go. 
And all I've got left there is an empty shell. Nothing left in there of any, any nutritional value, so you can discard that or do whatever you want with it. Right, now, so now we got onto the uh, the body, so the, the actual, the money box. So all we have to do with this, this flap underneath has to come off. So I basically remove it in the bin, and then you, you're left with this, okay? So to clean all this up, because there's nice, there's nice meat in the middle of here, so in between here and here, you can scoop out. But what I do first is, I'll. I'll break this off the shell. So here, this is the face of the crab. I'll push against that, like that. And then these are the dead men's fingers that everybody keeps going on about, the old wives' tail. And they're, and it's, they're poisonous. They're not poisonous at all. They're of no nutritional value. They are, they are the crab's lungs. And they probably don't taste that great either. So I wouldn't recommend eating those guys, but it's, they're not poisonous, right? So. You basically take them off with a spoon. That's it, done. Other side, there's there's more lungs there, look. And they come off really easy and they don't look anything like crab meat or food. So, you know, you're not likely to eat that. So then what you're left with now, guys, is something like that. Still looks a bit of a mess, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna take out that nice bit of juicy brown corally meat in the middle without cracking too much shell. There you go, got a nice wadge there of brown meat into the bowl. And then this bit in the middle. So in here, look, you can clean that out a bit. What we do in the factory is we'll clean that right out. And then what we do in the factory then is we'd rinse this out with hose, just to get all the sort of brown and stuff off of it because we don't really want the brown mixing into the white. But I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go that far because I don't mind a little bit of that, so that's fine. So yeah, so that's that bit done. Right, so we've got to this stage, everything's off the crab apart from we wanna get all the nice juicy meat out inside. So before I do that, I'm just gonna loosen off these sockets here, these little sockets. What, you, what don't come out when you break off the, the claws at the start, you have to take them off to facilitate the picking out of the crab out of these holes here. Okay, so every leg socket, there's a nice bit of meat. And in the front here, where you've got the big, the big leg joint, the pinches, that's a nice bit of meat there too. And the same on the other side, but there you've got one knuckle still there, look. So I just take that off. And the picking, I, I personally, I start from the back of the crab, so the back leg. And in the factory years ago, when I was working my way up the ranks, we always used to have like competitions, you could do this the fastest. I had the record, 17 seconds picked clean for one body. 17 seconds, yes. Still proud of that, guys. Right, so here we go, look. So I'll get this a bit closer so you can see. So it's all about, you can hear the cracking going on. The less, the less cracking, the better. Every time you make a cracking noise, that's shell breaking. Right, so you see that nice big bit there into the bowl. And there look, that's quite a big bit of meat there, isn't it? Just out of one socket. So that's, you can see in there now, there's still meat, there's still meat, because this socket goes two ways. It goes a little bit sideways as well. So there you can see that's now empty. So it's moving on to this one now. So I'm, I'm kind of doing this upside down here to the camera, so. So there's another nice big bit of meat there, let into the bowl. And then I'm gonna to go to the next joint. There's not very much in this one usually because it's quite near to the, uh, the reproductive organ. So I get that bit out. And it's just a matter of teasing the meat out without trying to make too much noise and you know creating all the shell the shell, you don't want to be eating shell, do you? Right, so we've got onto this, um, where the big leg joint, where this one goes in. So that's where the big claw sort of goes on like that. So this one here, you can actually go through this socket to get to the back of that one. And there's a nice bit of meat being teased there, look. So I'm just teasing it out with the, with the spoon. And there, look, that was a big lump. 
just come out there. And then you go in again, just to clean all the bits that you've missed. Have a good poke around. And then I'm, I'm, I'm down to this bit here now, this front face. And this bit here, you just push in this way and it will fall out under here. So you'll see that now falling down. And I'll just give it a little tap. Right, so there you go. That's one half of the crab cleaned. Nothing left in there. So I just turn around, repeat the process. A little bit of crack in there, but look, look at that nice bit of meat there, look. Really nice. pretty empty there. So this bit here, I'm just gonna press against this wall here so you don't break it. Just press and all that meat just fall out underneath. And look, I've just teased that out of that hole. All that meat right there. It's just come out of that one hole. So now I'm just gonna have a little clean around the inside just to sort of check, see if I've missed anything. A little bit there. A little scrape there and that that is it so that's all empty i've got all the meat out there's nothing left that can go in the bin and just look how much meat i got out of the body and i'll just show you that now if i collect that up there's a handful of meat a handful of really nice body meat there so it's really worth going over, you know, picking out the crab and getting everything out of it. So that's the body done. Right, so that's our body all picked out. Lovely, tickety-boo. And now it's like the, the fun bit, if you like. I mean, this is really nice. You can actually do this with your family around the table. You know, nice glass of wine, some nice crusty bread. Anyway, so there's the big claw, it's been taken off. And there's a, there's a blade in the middle of this bit here. So there's a blade that needs to come out. So what we do first is, you hold the crab really firmly in this hand, and then you take two fingers pushing here, and you break that out. So there's the blade, and you must do that. And if you're, if you're really tight or keen, there's a little bit of meat in there, I don't bother with that. And that, there you've got the claw, and now what you need to do is obviously tap it and unwrap it. So I have got, this is my uh, priest for uh, when I'm fishing. If I take any fish home, it's a solid bar. Uh, yeah, it gets the job done quick, but it also doubles as a crab cracker. So yes, bit noisy. So you've got the knuckle bit here and the main bit, the claw. Start start here and you, you just want to crack the claw. You don't want to, you don't want to smash it to bits, okay? Because obviously you'll ruin the meat that's inside. So I've just, Done it like that, and you can take it apart and, and get to the meat. Okay, so that's really easy there. So there's a nice bit of uh, claw meat there. And then in this little joint here, you can actually push through. You see all the meat coming out there? So that can go into your bowl. So I'll just bring the bowl back into shot and you can see. There we go. And then we're left with the, obviously the big part of the claw, that's the, the nicest bit, I think. Very, very sweet. So it's just a gentle tap, just enough, there you go, just enough to crack it. So not enough to actually murder it. And then the other side, that's it. So I'll stop there. Right, so watch this. That's nothing in there. Here's the claw starting to appear. And the less shell that you can, you know, break, the better. And then you just really carefully pull this out. And that is it, the blade's gone because we took that out, um, obviously with the big claw. So the blade's all gone. That was, that was inside there as a tendon. And that is this, one of the sweetest parts to put in your mouth. That is absolutely beautiful.
and then the small legs i won't won't bore you much longer so the little legs here obviously there's meat on the end so you pull that off okay there's more meat and then all you do is and and this bit here if you're really keen you can break this and get more meat out of there and then you've just got the nice thigh there so again You're not wanting to smash it to bits, just enough to break it. There you go. And then what you can do is get your spoon. You can go down inside the leg and just pop it out into the plate. Anything off the ends. A little bit there that I've missed. So there you go. And it's just a matter of repeating the process for all the other legs. And that is it. So at the end of the day, you're going to have a nice, a nice big bowl of meat. So I'm going to do the rest of these claws and then I'll show you what's left. So that's it all finished. There's a nice, a nice bowl of brown crab meat there. You know, probably, I don't know, 12 ounces, more than half a pound. And the same with that, look, there's a nice bowl of crab meat. Really nice. And you can do obviously a nice salad with that. Um, you can do hot dishes or why not save the shells so all this all this stuff in here has got loads of flavor in it you can make a crab bisque out of that the very there's loads of recipes online you can make a you know boil up the shells and make a nice crab linguine or something like that a really nice posh dinner instead of wasting the shells you can boil them up yes so there you go guys that's how to uh, pick hand pick crab meat Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit subscribe, like, share the love. I'll see you soon in the wonderful world of fishing. Yes, handpick crab meat. Booty. Look who's this. Oh, and she's purring as well. Go on then, puss. Oh yes, daddy's favorite now. Thanks for watching guys. That's your lot, cat. <laughs>